The Rio Grande Valley Vipers face the main Red Claws for the second straight night at State Farm Arena, try to avenge a loss from Saturday, and they look to Jermaine Taylor, the NBA assignee from the Houston Rockets for that early offensive spark, hits this one from the outside. How about another one from downtown from Jermaine Taylor? Jen JT taking over, a lot of early action from him, gets this layup to go, Vipers up big in the early moments of the first quarter but Russell Robinson and the Red Claws would answer back an off balance jumper here hoop and the harm for Russell Robinson and then a beautiful touch pass underneath for TJ Cummings as the Red Claws tried to rally back late in the first moving on to the second it was Mo Ager hitting this off balance jumper from just inside the free throw line and then he hits from downtown one of two three pointers on the evening for Ager he finished with 21 points for the Red Claws and then Mo Allman hits this one in the lane got that one to go and that gave the Red Claws their first lead of the game at 42-41. In the third quarter, though, the Vipers would rally back. Alley-oop dunk there from Jermaine Taylor, and he got the feed from Will Conroy, who had 14 assists on the evening. Then Craig Winder started to take over in the third quarter for the Vipers. Got that layup to go, plus one. Then Winder hitting from downtown at the top of the key here. Craig Winder finishing with 25 points on the evening and capping it off with this beautiful follow-away jumper from the foul line. Then in the fourth quarter, after the Red Claws would rally back with a 15-0 run, Will Conroy would answer back. Hits this one from downtown from the left wing. And then Russell Robinson trying to keep things close for the Red Claws. Hits this off-balance shot of the lane as he got his team two within six points. But Will Conroy taking over, dribbling behind his back, dribbling through traffic, gets that layup to go. And then Will Conroy one more time from downtown. Conroy, 21 points, 14 assists and six rebounds. And to put the final nail in the coffin for the Vipers, it's Mike Harris. Harris, the leading scorer in the D-League, finished with 16 and gets that two-handed stuff to go. Vipers win it over the main Red Claws, 117-107, avenging the loss from Saturday. They improve to 24-9. The Red Claws fall to 20-13. and 13.